Hey guys, welcome to another virtualization video with me, Jake Billing. Now, in the previous videos in this series, you would have actually seen uh, one with Windows 7 in it, one with Vista, and one with XP. And in those episodes, you would have seen various amounts of those operating systems running at once virtually. Now, today we're going to be running Windows 8.1, uh, as you can see on my desktop right here have an ISO. So let's go ahead and use Hyper-V to do this and let's see how many copies of uh, Windows 8.1 we can actually virtualize at once here. So, uh, new virtual machine. Let's go ahead and do this. So next, and we'll call it Windows 8.1. Okay, next, generation one. And we'll assign it the bare minimum of memory it can actually take, which is 768 in Hyper-V anyway, uh, before it just won't boot at all. Uh, we'll connect it to my external uh, network here and then we'll just assign it a 20 gig hard drive. Now, we'll go through this, we'll install it from the ISO on the desktop, then I'll go into the settings in a minute and assign it the full eight cores of this i7 processor. Okay, so, uh, settings and processor and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Click OK on that and let's begin. So, I'll set the first one up and I'll speed the video up as well. And we'll basically, Install or clone rather as many copies of Windows 8.1 as we can until the system bottlenecks. I'm going to take a punt at 20 copies. Um, I think after 20 copies running at once, we're going to struggle a little bit, but we'll soon see, won't we? So let's go ahead and set the first one now. Install, and it's just a case of literally going through this setup stage, this wizard, uh, to configure the first one. And after that, we'll just literally clone the first one and then basically re import it many times to, you know, basically push the system and see how many we can run at once. So let's do that now. Anyway, so the first one is now installing. Let's go ahead and do that. So next, and we'll leave it to it. I'll come back shortly. Okay, guys. So as you can see there, I just sped that up to install Windows. And now it's time to basically personalize the system. So JB-8.1. Let's give it that name. Ah, oh, eight one will do. Next, and uh, rather than doing the express settings, we'll customize this just to turn off automatic updates because we don't want the machine to be doing that in the background. Everything else can be kept as default. Uh, it'll ask us to create a either a network linked account, so email account, or a local account. So let's create a local account. And uh, I'm going to sign in without a Microsoft account and just call a local account, the local account, sorry, as Jake. So finish, and now it's basically going to take us straight to uh, the tile system. So Windows 8.1 had a, a revolutionary new tile system, and this was to basically focus on tablets and sort of uh, touch operating systems, or trying to go towards the touch, uh, the, the touch idea. All right, so it says let's start. Okay, and there is the start menu that we are all familiar with, with Windows 8 and 8.1. So we'll go to the desktop, and we'll just check that we have general internet access, just for fun, really. Yeah, it's perfect. That's working, no problems whatsoever. Okay, so let's go ahead and minimize this down. We are going to create a folder on the desktop called Windows 8.1. And the reason for that is because we want to export it to a location from Hyper-V Manager. Now, on the virtual machine here, if you right-click on it and come down to Export, you can actually browse to a folder you'd like to export to. So this, in this case, Windows 8.1. Select the folder, Export. If we scroll across here, you'll see that it's exporting and the progress for that uh, export as well. Now, just bear with it a few seconds while it does that. Right, cool, so there you go, merge in progress done. So now if we go back to that folder on the desktop, you'll actually see that within the 8.1 folder, there's the virtual hard disks and the VHDX file that we've just exported. It's 9.6 gig, that's brilliant. So all we need to do now to clone that operating system is to basically import it in again. So import operating system, next. Uh, we're gonna browse to the folder on the desktop, so browse desktop 8.1, 8.1, and then that's the folder it needs to look at. If you click next, it will then see the 8.1 virtual disk. We're going to copy the virtual machine. And yep, that can stay the same. But 
on this occasion we're going to change the location of it to number two otherwise the machine name would be the same and it wouldn't work it would reference the same location and get conflicts conflicts get my words out today okay and it's as simple as that that will now import in once it's imported you'll see two copies in the hyper v manager here and then we can just literally right click on it start or right click on it connect then start and it will literally resume from the exact same location and position that this is actually in the same state so if i left it on this screen when i exported it it would the second machine would start up on that screen as well uh, or in this case because we exported it on the desktop it should re-import and open on the desktop uh, we'll soon see if we look at the uh high, if we look, sorry look at the if we look at task manager here you'll see that the ssd is working overtime so 100 percent nearly and uh yeah it's gone through there you go so you can see the second one's been imported if we right click on this connect and then start it you'll see it should take us straight to there we go brilliant well hey how awesome is that now if i look down here we should have two copies of windows 8.1 both running simultaneously okay i'm gonna fast forward this now guys i'm gonna do um 10 at a time so i'll i'll start another eight up and i'll check back in see how the machine's dealing with running eight or uh, well, ten at once and uh, then we'll carry on from there stay tuned <laughs> okay guys so as you can see here in hyper v there are 10 client copies of windows 8.1 now we need to go ahead and start them all whoosh okay so they're all assigned there 768 meg of ram they're all starting up now you can see the disk is actually at 99 to 100 percent and there they all are they're all starting up i'm gonna let the system settle down a bit because i think it will just uh calm down a bit in a minute once i have a chance to start those all up i'm gonna go ahead and right click and then connect them it'll bring up on the screen all over the place higgledy piggledy there we go loading up now as you can see all running nicely so far so so far so good we've got 10 running and if we look at you know the system itself we've got 70% of the CPU 11 gig of RAM and it's saying it's using all of the hard drive well the SSD but it could be because it's still settling down and just basically starting those machines up um, what's this one here doing that one's got a black screen for some reason let's go ahead and close and reopen that one How very strange. Ah, oh, there we go, that's fixed. <laughs> strange bug there with Hyper-V. So let's close these down. So close the uh, sessions. They'll still be running in the background. And there we go, you can see that it is it is settling down now. That was at 40% then uh, until I closed them. There you go, so 40% or less. There you go, brilliant. So let's go ahead and, and carry on. I'll check back in shortly when there's another 10 running. Let's do this then. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so there we have it i have 18 vms running that's the maximum i've actually been able to do with 16 gig of ram as you can see in task manager there 100 percent on the cpu we're using 15.2 out of the 16 gig of ram and 100 percent more or less on the uh, ssd now if i go to uh, connect to these uh, so go to right click connect and just wait we should find that it will work, but I don't know how smooth it will be. So it's just a bit of a, a waiting game to see how this will respond. As you can see, the sessions are opening okay. They're, they're working fine there. Uh, it's a little bit sluggish, but still completely usable. I've seen servers that are a lot slower than this running Hyper-V. So, so far so good. I'd be happy with this as a, as a solution for somebody if they're running this many Hyper-V clients. Okay, so that's 18 copies of... Windows 8 running there all simultaneously. Now, if I go to my local machine now and try and use, uh, let's say Chrome, and obviously here we go, YouTube, you can see that that's still working pretty much fine. There's no real issue there. So, you know, even though the memory is kind of, kind of completely utilized, it can still use the SSD for swap space in memory, which is pretty cool. If we go back to Task Manager and have a look at it, yeah, the disk has calmed down now to about 30 to 40%. Yeah, CPU is 20%. There you go. So it's calmed down a bit now. It's had time to sort of start those virtual machines up and, and whatnot. But it's still using all of the memory. Um, so any of the disk use there really will probably be swapping in and out of memory from the... Uh, sorry, from memory to the SSD to clear up some space in memory. Um, so yeah, that was pretty fun. Good exercise to do, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching that video. I'm just going to organise these now into a, a cool design on the screen and uh, to show all 18, or as many as I can on the screen, running, and uh, we'll leave it there. 
<laughs> okay, guys, so there we have it. Uh, 18 VMs running all at once for Windows 8.1. And I was quite impressed with that, considering, you know... It, <sighs> 8.1 wasn't the the sort of the, the best operating system in the world. It was a bit like a Vista operating system. Uh, it worked well. I mean, after all the updates, it was pretty good. But to start with, with the RTM like this is, it was pretty sluggish and, and quite heavy on resources. Um, I was quite impressed with that. So like I said, 18 VMs all running at once. Not bad at all. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you guys for all watching. And, uh, you know, take it easy. I'll catch you next time. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and share it around. And I'll see you later. Thanks for that. Take care. See you later. Bye.